Okay, well welcome to Gatorama. Today we're going to prepare some alligator ribs. Now alligator ribs are actually my favorite part of the alligator when it comes to eating alligator. And so what we have here is a package of uh, three, uh, three pounds of ribs. So it's all vacuum packed and I'm just going to drain the water out here. A little bit of water in there. The cool thing about the ribs that I like is that um, it, when we harvest the alligator, we use just the, the top portion of the ribs, but here they've been cut a little bit wider. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a knife and I'm going to cut this off here. But what I like to do first is I'll take some paper towels and kind of fill it up because there's a membrane on there that I want to take off. And this just makes some, uh, so I'll just take them and fold this up underneath there like that. And it'll take that membrane right off. And yeah, I do this with, with pork ribs too, and it just makes it a little bit easier to eat and, and also better to cook, I think. So, so we've got the membrane off, just throw that away. So now I'm gonna take a sharp knife. You wanna make sure you have a sharp knife. And you'll be able to see where the ribs, they start to come down and then they move back up. And uh, we're just gonna cut this portion off. And what you'll find is that if you look in there, that's all uh, gristle. And this is actually pretty good meat, so you can take this and just kind of pull this apart. So you've got a nice chunk of meat there. So now we're gonna get to the ribs. So the ribs are, are very small, and um, I like to, um, to find the ribs here. You'll see, you might be able to see how small the bone is there compared to the amount of, of meat that's there. So what we'll do is just find it in between I like to lift up, it's just a little bit easier to lift up. And so there you go, you got one rib and you can see what beautiful meat that is. And, um, and once, we, once we cook them up, you'll, you'll be amazed at the amount of meat that's on there. This is um, Everglades Heat from our friends at Everglades Seasoning. And um, I've, I've found this to be the, the best seasoning for the ribs. And so we'll just sprinkle a little bit on there. Well, if I can get it to come out. And um, I generally will just do the one side. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to just take it and put it in the flour. And it's just a real light, you know, it's just a, a light dusting. You don't need much on there. And uh, yeah, some people like a lot of batter. I don't like the batter because I like the taste of the meat. So I, don't, I won't put much on there. Okay, so now here we are, we have a frying pan. We've got about three quarters of an inch of, uh, of vegetable oil in there. And we're just gonna take these, these ribs and I'm gonna lay them in there. And, and these, are, these are gonna fry. I mean, I've, I've got the temperature at uh, 300, 350 degrees. Uh, that way they should be nice and golden brown. Um, and they'll be cooked perfectly. We'll cook them for about four or five minutes. Uh, I'm not going to use the timer, but um, that's about what it takes. This is, this is new oil, so it may not be as golden brown as I like to see them. But um, so there we are. Now we're frying. Okay, so you can see there are uh, kind of a golden brown and the frying has, has calmed down a little bit. It's been probably four or five minutes. So we're just going to take these out. Hopefully Patty won't get too mad at me for making a mess on her, on her oven here. Or top, real top. We're going to go ahead and take some of this, uh, this other meat that we, we cut off the ribs. I might have to do this by, by hand. Because you don't want them to stick together. You want everything to, to 
fry up individually. Now the, this portion here, this is this is similar to the tail pieces that we that we cook up, and um, this you're only going to cook for maybe three minutes. Um, if you were deep frying it, you would um, treat it like you would fish. As soon as it starts to float, give it about 30 seconds and take it out. Okay, while we're waiting on that to, to fry up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more of this Everglades heat on here. I like to do it while while they're still hot, so that the seasoning will stick onto the oil a little bit better. And it doesn't need a whole lot, it just depends on, on what your, your taste buds prefer. Okay, so the, the frying has subsided. It's, what you're, you know, it's still going to fry once you take them out. And you don't want to overcook. People have a tendency, like with the nuggets, to, to overcook. And when they do, since there's so little fat in there, they'll get tough and chewy. So, so here we go. We've got this. Once again, while it's still. Uh, the, the oil is still drying, put a little bit of Everglades seasoning on it, and uh, there you go.